Namaste. I am Dr. Madhurika Desa. In our last series, we had seen micronutrients in that I cover fat soluble vitamins. In this series, I am going to cover water soluble vitamins. You know, vitamins are very, very essential for our body. Even they are in a smaller uh, um, amount in our body, they are essential. They act as a coenzyme for the biochemical reactions in our body. So they are very essential for the bodily functions like digesting the, of nutrients or making uh, micromolecules in our body. So let's restart today with our uh, water soluble nutrients today. Okay, so let's start. So friends, we are saying water soluble vitamins. As we have seen in our last series, which are the vitamins? They are the vitamin B and vitamin C. And now saying the vitamin B. Now, uh, in this vitamins, you have to remember the chemical names, which is very important. Also, you have to remember the functions, remember the deficiency. Also, they ask these main questions accordingly. So, the three things you have to remember in your we are going with the vitamin B1. The chemical name is called thiamine. Now, what is the important function of it? It is important for carbohydrate metabolism. Now, what is a carbohydrate metabolism? So, uh, as we have seen in the last series of macronutrients where we have covered carbohydrate, there we had seen we have uh, disaccharides and polysaccharides carbohydrate, which uh, we are called as a complex carbohydrate. Okay, monosaccharide is a simple carbohydrate. So, when our body takes this disaccharide and polysaccharide kind of carbohydrate in a natural form in our body, that complex carbohydrate should be converted into the simple uh, carbohydrate and then only it get absorbed in our body. Okay, so that function is called in the carbohydrate metabolism for this function, time is essential. Now, it is also important for the transferring of nerve impulses. Very, very essential. Uh, thiamine is uh, one of the important vitamins which, which works on our nervous system. Now, the sources, fortified breads, yeast, okay, cereals. Here, you have to keep in mind that unpolished cereals are very essential. Unpolished, like unpolished rice, rice bran. These are important uh, things. Even the cereals, what we are taking, they should be unpolished one. Even meat and fish also having vitamin B1 deficiency. Here comes the important thing. Berry berry is the uh, disease where we get because of the deficiency of thiamine. Now, as we are, you can see on the screen, there is a two types of berry berry. One is dry and one is wet. What is a dry berry berry? It affects on your nervous system, mainly affects your nervous system. So there is you know, tingling, numbness, there is a loss of sensation and it may lead to paralysis also. Now wet berry berry which affects your cardiovascular system, uh, there are the symptoms like an enlargement of heart, your palpitation is high, there is an edema on your feet, means swelling on your feet. So what is the edema? If you press that edema or swelling, then there is a, you know, that uh, you feel that uh, edema is sustained over there. You find out that fingertip impression on that edema. That is called edema. So that's happened in the very, very, very. Now the daily nutrition requirement is 0 0.5 micrograms per 1000 kilocalorie of energy intake for adults. Now, our next is vitamin B2. Chemical name is called riboflavin. Vitamin B2, we can naturally present in the food which combined with the protein and that's, it's called as flower protein or LO enzyme. Okay, here the main function of B2 is cellular oxidation is work in the cellular oxidation now you know that each cells is uh, you know require oxygen to produce energy okay so this is what function is happen at the cellular level and for that function vitamin b2 is very essential now it also helps for the metabolism of carbohydrate which we have seen also with the protein and fats so what happens if you are not taken a proper intake of carbohydrate that or you are starving for a longer period 
and then the protein and fats, the energy we are getting from your body, first from the fats and then from the protein. Okay, so whenever if the people is starving for a longer period, first their uh, fat, you know, get burns because of they prepare the energy and then their protein from the muscles started, you know, burning and then there is a muscle loss in their body, you can find out. Okay, so this is what the function for this all functions, you know, vitamin B2 uh, is essential for productions of oxygen and the energy in our body. Now the sources. The main source is eggs, milk, green leafy vegetables, cereals and pulses. What is a deficiency? Now keep one thing in your mind that B2 is very very important for stomatitis means if the deficiency happens it causes stomatitis. Stomatitis means ulceration on your you know inner oral cavity. You get ulcerations on that. Glossitis also inflammation uh, now there is a normal cytic anemia. What is the kind of anemia is also this you know you have to name you have to keep in mind a huh? normal cytic. In the next you also find out some of the anemias with another name. So that anemia name also you have to keep in mind for the next exam. So normal cytic anemia means where there the productions of normal RBCs get reduced. So normal RBCs production is reduced in the normal cytic anemia. Okay. What is, and then also you find out the dermatitis, the inflammation on your skin, erosions on the skin, also the in, inflammation of the conjunctiva happens due to vitamin B2 deficiency. You have to keep everything in your mind. Now, daily nutrition requirement is 0 0.6 milligram per 1000 kilocalorie of energy intake for adults. Now we are coming with the vitamin B3, which also called as niacin or nicotinic acid. Now, what are the functions? Uh, well, it is again very essential for the metabolisms of my, uh, carbohydrates, uh, you know, proteins and fats. As I told you the previous, uh, just I just spoke to you about this. What is meaning of it? Also for the normal functioning for the intestine, that is the digestive system, and for the nervous system. What are the uh, you know sources? Main source is whole cereals. Also, we are getting from the animal uh, sources like uh, meat, fish. Also, from the nuts, legumes, we are getting vitamin B3. What is the deficiency? One of the important question they may ask you in your exam: deficiency of vitamin B3 called pellagra. You have to keep this in mind. Uh, pellagra is of three symptoms. If you have to define pellagra, it's, it's of three symptoms. First symptom is dermatitis. Itis means swelling or inflammation. So there is inflammation or swelling around your skin or your uh, body. Then diarrhea and dementia means, you know, loss of memory. You find out because of the deficiency. Also, it works on the nervous system as I told you. So, definitely, depression, irritability is one of the deficiencies syndrome you can find out. Stomatitis, glottitis, glossitis, as I told you, it works on the digestive system also. So, definitely, the deficiency causes this kind of inflammation. Now, the daily nutrition requirement is, is 6.6 .6 milligram per thousand kilocalorie of energy intake for adults. We are going the next is basics. I'm covering the main main B complexes and uh, main main sorry vitamin B uh, in this series. So vitamin B6 is also very important, which is called chemical name pyridoxin. Okay. Now we get uh, this vitamin B6 in our body in the three forms: pyridoxin, pyridoxin, and pyridoxamine. You have to keep this in your mind also. What is the function? essential for the metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins, fats. Sources, if you see animal sources, meat, fish, also we are getting from the cereals, also we are getting from the milk. What is the deficiency? So, as metabolism of carbohydrate, protein and fats, so poor growth if the deficiency happens, also we get a conversion, skin rashes, also Microcytic hypochromic anemia. You have to keep this name in your mind. B6, microcytic hypochromic anemia. Okay, what is the meaning of this? In the microcytic hypochromic anemia, the 
RVC is become a smaller size than the normal size of RVCs. Okay, so you have to keep this uh, meaning also in your mind. Now the daily requirement is two milligram for the adults, and now we are covering vitamin B12. So which is called cyanocobalamin, one of the important vitamin for exam also and for life also. Functions requirement for the synthesis of myelin sheet which is around the nerve fibers. So very essential for the nervous system. Also very necessary for the synthesis of DNA. Also for the formation of RBC. So oh, very, very essential kind of vitamins for our body. The sources, if you are seeing, then meat, fish, eggs, so. By seeing this, only and only animal origin food gives us vitamin B12. Keep this in mind. They may ask you, which are the vitamin which is only we are getting from the animal sources? Vitamin B12. Now the deficiency, cure, pernicious anemia. So, in the pernicious anemia, what happens? This is also a very important question they ask me. If there is a vitamin B12 deficiency, which kind of anemia? So, pernicious. What is the meaning of pernicious anemia? Now, keep in mind, uh, if there is, uh, uh, if our body uh, can't absorb enough vitamin B12, if there is something happening, like, you know, when there is a weakened uh, stomach lining or autoimmune uh, condition, then the uh, adequate amount of B12 can't absorb by our body, then there is a reduction in the RBCs. And that was anemia. Keep in mind, pernicious anemia, very important for deficiency of vitamin B12. Now, very here on your right is, again, I told you one of the important for the nervous system. Swelling on the ankle joint as if you got anemia. Definitely, the, it's first symptoms you get anemia or swelling. And then the weakness and tingling sensation on your extremities related with the nervous system again. So, you have to keep everything in mind. Our daily nutrition requirement is one microgram for adults. And now we are covering our uh, slide for vitamin C, that is an ascorbic acid. So, what ascorbic acid? Vitamin C, chemical name is ascorbic acid, the main, main vitamin for our body. Functions, synthesis of non-essential amino acids. If you have seen my last series of macronutrients, I had covered what's the meaning of non-essential amino acids and essential amino acids. I repeat, non-essential amino acids means they are uh, synthesis in our body. So we should not require from the diet. The synthesis in our body itself. So for the synthesis of this kind of essential, non-essential amino acids, vitamin C is required. So just see my previous series where I explained this uh, term non-essential amino acids. Required for the absorption of iron. So here also uh, for the absorption of iron, your vitamin C is essential. It is very, very essential for the formation of collagen of connective tissue. So, uh, that uh, what we say, elasticity of our skin or the elasticity of tendons, ligaments is due to vitamin C. So, you require an adequate amount of vitamin C in your body. Also, for normal wound healing, for uh, you know, for the activations of hormones, especially growth hormones, and it is a very excellent antioxidant. As I cover, what is antioxidant? So, antioxidants. They are essential to delay the cell damage. Okay. Now, what are the sources? They ask in the question, what are the rich source of vitamin C? You have to write answer, amla. Amla is a rich source of vitamin C. Then, the street leaves, gawa, cabbage, tomato, even the citrus food like orange, okay, lemon, where we have vitamin C. Now, what is the deficiency? As we all know, scurvy is a main uh, deficiency symptoms where there is a bleeding gums, okay? Uh, and you know, this is essentially they ask in the question paper, so just you have to keep this in mind. Now, because of vitamin C, you know, there is a fragile blood vessel, so a minor brush or minor cut also causes profuse bleeding. Also, 
then delay wound healing. If the deficiency of vitamin C is there, then that wound healing is also delayed. And definitely as uh, it's required for the absorption of iron, if the deficiency of vitamin C happens, definitely anemia is happening. So daily requirement for this vitamin C is 30 to 40 milligram for adults. Here, the water soluble main important vitamins are covered. So stay tuned with us and uh, if you have any queries, please I have a contact details down. You can write down. Your feedback is also important for me. Thank you.